So this is my main guitar I use, Fender Stratocaster, made in USA. Um, mostly worn it, all genuine play we here, nothing relics but natural relic use from playing it and having a few dings and bashes around. It's in Lake Placid Blue, one of my favourite car colours. Yeah. Set up nicely by Dave Ulbrick, who makes these amplifiers actually. Did a good job to get it playing a bit better for me. Naturally has the scratch plate taken off the back so I can get to the strings, but uh, yeah, very early reissue, 1986, so it's sort of gone vintage in itself. Put that back down with the case, tweed case. The tweed doesn't age real well, yeah, but anyway, it works. Well, one broken latch. Uh, but yeah, great guitar, and an era where they were relearning how to make them. The early Dan Smith era was a, a return to quality, and I started reissuing these guitars. Um, but they didn't have the... they had to relearn how to make them more accurately. The, the jigs were a bit out of whack, I believe, and a bit worn. So this era, 86, a small group of people were only putting out a few guitars per week. It was basically they, they would go on to become the custom shops. This is like a pre-custom shop custom guitar. So very accurately done. I've played actual early 60s Stratocasters and custom shop reissues and this is as good if not better than any of the ones I've played. Did a little bit of work on frets done to get it a bit smoother playing, just a bit of fret dressing. Nice setup with slightly lighter strings for me. It's got all the bits and bobs with it that I need, the whammy bar, tremolo bar, um, and all the other bits and pieces in the case, but a great playing guitar. Sounds good. I should run it through that, my 66 Pro Reverb, but equally sounds good through these Albrecht amps, a little one, a big one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed a quick look at this guitar.